Hi guys, this is something a little bit different. It's for the bus enthusiasts out there. Uh, my name is Henry Tenby. I'm the creator of Jetflix TV, and I'm not gonna be doing an aviation show, but I hope you'll still find it interesting. So a little bit of background information about me. I am 56 years old. I was born in 1964, and I grew up here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. And when I was a young kid taking the bus to and from school, I was intrigued with the buses that we had here in Vancouver. They were Brill buses, and they were manufactured in the 1930s and 1940s. And uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but they were actually quite special buses. They were popular uh, throughout North America in the 50s and in the 60s. And as I say, here in Vancouver, we had them for quite a number of decades uh, beyond their, their, their sell pass date. But anyhow, I acquired a small collection of images of the BC Hydro buses that were in service, photographed between the 1960s and the 1980s. And I'm gonna share them with you uh, because they have a, sp a special personal connection to me and my time as a school lad uh, taking the bus uh, from our home on uh, West 27th Avenue over to St. George's uh, here in Dunbar. I spent many an hour riding these buses, sitting at the back and then exiting through the, uh, the turning. Uh, there was like a pallet uh, that kind of swang like that and that's what you used to open up the rear doors. And they were kind of fun memories. And if you stick around to the end of this video, I do have a special offer that you might be interested in taking me up on. It's free. And I hope you enjoy what you're about to see in this memory back to the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, riding the Brill buses here in beautiful Vancouver, BC, courtesy of BC Hydro. Well, this is our first image from July the 14th, 1970. The number six bus, the 41st and Oak service, is actually seen here photographed at a popular intersection that I know well at 49th and Canby, facing northbound. June 21st, 1970, this is the BC Hydro Kensington Transit Center in Burnaby, where we have a fleet of BC Hydro buses in the fabulous tan scheme of the late 1960s. This is also the Kensington Transit Center, a Naughton service bus. Look at the license plate, very, very cool. And here we are over in North Vancouver at the BC Hydro Loop. We've got a very interesting selection of buses here, including the Lynn Valley 83 service and the 3rd Street St. David's bus as well. Notice the advertisement on the side of the bus. It's Dick Irwin. For those of you who are raised in Vancouver, you, re you might remember the TV ads and radio ads from the era from his car dealership. They went kind of something like this. Dick Irwin, what a great, great guy. And this image was taken on June the 18th, 1970. Here's another early 1970s image taken in downtown Vancouver. It appears to be taken at the corner of Denman and Robson. It's the number 19 bus bound for Kingsway, a bus many of you will remember well. And of course, downtown Vancouver has changed very significantly since this image was taken. And notice the Sheraton Landmark Hotel in the background. At the time, it was probably sticking out like a sore thumb, not like today. And in this image, we have two buses, both the same route. Number 31 uh, to Lougheed Mall, taken at BC Hydro's Kensington Transit Center in December of 1971. Here's a close-up view of the number 31 Douglas and Lougheed bus, taken at the BC Hydro Kensington Transit Center on November the 11th, 1971, Armistice Day here in Vancouver. And this is perhaps my favorite shot in the whole collection, May the 13th, 1973, looking south on the Granville Street Bridge. We have an amazing view. We've got the number 25 Victoria BC Hydro bus heading into downtown, but the view south towards Granville, South Granville area and West Broadway is absolutely fantastic. Notice there are large billboard signs when this image was taken in 73. Those were banned by the city of Vancouver, probably not too, maybe a few years after this image was taken. We don't have them here anymore. And of course, there's no buildup of the higher, newer buildings and apartment condos in South Granville that exist today. Just fascinating. Here we have bus 2272. It's on a Granville route and it's passing underneath the Arthur Lang Bridge 
on October the 12th, 1975. Note the blue maverick in the background of the image. I wonder if that belongs to my friend John Kimberly. And here we have a 25 Victoria bus at the bus stop. It appears to be sitting in front of the Burks building on Granville Street. The date is December the 30th, 1976. And recognize that the billboard ad on the side of the bus is promoting the ice capades. Remember them? Here is a fabulous view of the number 15 Camby BC Hydro bus parked at the bus stop right next to the Holt Renfrew store at the north end of the Granville Mall on a busy Saturday, most likely. This, of course, is Granville Street. It has changed a little bit, but not too much, since September the 16th, 1976. This is the Dunbar number no. 7 bus. It's headed to the Dunbar Loop at the corner of Dunbar and West 41st. It's photographed on the Granville Street Mall at Granville and the corner of West Georgia by the Hudson's Bay, which of course is still there today. The photo was taken on September the 16th, 1976. As a schoolboy, of course, I would ride this bus all the time. And how amazing to think that 45 years later, I would live in Dunbar and ride this same bus from a bus stop just meters from my home. And here we have a nice view of the number 20 Granville Street bus parked on the Granville Mall, Granville Street, sitting in front of Eaton's. The Eaton's building was constructed around 1973, 1974, and I do remember that period well. Of course, I'm fascinated with the billboard on the side of the bus. It's promoting CP Air's 747 multiple flights daily to Toronto. I was a huge airline fan even back then. This image was taken on September the 16th, 1976. And here we have the number 12 Powell bus sitting at 700 West Pender, downtown Vancouver on December the 30th, 1976. Here we have a great view of the number 16 Renfrew bus that goes to Kingsway and Earls and Burnaby. It's photographed on the Granville Mall, Granville Street, sitting at the bus stop by the Burks building. It was photographed again on December the 30th, 1976. And this is a very special bus. It is a motorized, non-trolley version of the Brill bus, built in the 30s or 40s. It's actually called the Shopper, and it was a free bus that operated in downtown Vancouver. In the background, we have the number 50 False Creek South bus, which was, of course, a non-Brill bus as well. This image was taken, of course, downtown Vancouver on the Granville Street Mall on August the 5th, 1978. And here's another great shot from that very same day. Three BC Hydro Brill Transit buses sitting in front of Eaton's. We've got the number seven Dunbar and the number four West 4th bus. Fabulous, just fabulous to see them lined up here. And here we have coach 2128 16th and Camby, it appears to have been in some form of accident, perhaps with another bus. It appears as if the bus is being parted out for scrap. The date, July the 1st, 1981. I'm not sure where the image was actually taken though. This is a very interesting shot. It's a test vehicle. It's one of the new electric buses that BC Hydro purchased to replace all the brills. And it took several years to iron out the kinks and get the electrical systems of these buses to work properly. And they actually had to continue using the brills for two or three years beyond their planned phase out date. This image was taken at the BC Transit Center at Oak Ridge in the summer of 1982. This is a really nice shot of the number 24 Nanaimo bus, 2724, taken at the corner of Slocan Street and Van Ness, heading southbound on May the 2nd, 1984. It was these buses that replaced BC Hydro's Brill bus fleet. All good things must come to an end, and so it was the case with the Brill buses with BC Hydro. Here we have the Dunbar bus and many other sister buses parked at the BC Transit Center at Dominion Bridge in Burnaby, BC, April the 18th, 1985. This was a parting out and scrapping yard for these very historic buses after they were retired from use. And here, of course, is another view from that same day, the same yard, the number 41 Arbutus bus with a bunch of other sister buses in close proximity. 
So out with the old and in with the new. This, of course, is one of the new buses. It is Route 15, starting her run, turning north on Canby Street at West 65th, taken on September the 18th, 1986. As most of you might remember, if you were living here in Vancouver at the time, 86 was the Expo year, so things were winding up for a fantastic Expo 86 that year. We have the number eight Davy bus. It's turning south from Hastings Street onto Granville Street. The view that we're looking at is northbound towards the North Shore Mountains at the corner of Granville and Hastings. The photo was taken on April the 21st, 1989. And this brings us to the very end of our BC Hydro, BC Transit bus tour. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave your comments, perhaps give me a thumbs up or a like, and I'll see you on the next video. So now I'd like to offer you a special free offer. I run Jetflix TV, which is an aviation streaming service, and I'd like to give you the opportunity to watch seven free full feature aviation movies as a sample of the kind of content that you can watch as a member, paid member on Jetflix TV. So there's an upper right hand corner click out right now that you can select to sign up and watch these free movies. Please do check it out. I'd be happy to see you on the inside over at Jetflix TV. It's completely free. It's no obligation to watch these seven free movies. Thank you very much. And until next time, happy bus riding.